right, hey everybody, this is John. And uh, we're doing a wrap here uh, in our class. This has been the formula class, very fun day. And we'll do this as the free video here. And we're gonna look at a couple of different things. Um, first of all, let's look at Google. We're doing, um, we've been doing an earnings play on Google, getting in a little bit early on that. And we wanna see how this thing is doing. So this is one we did today in the class. And you can see we've been picking up some very, very specific options 22 days out. Okay, why? Because that's the day that they come out on earnings. And we're looking for an earnings run in both uh, price and implied volatility. Uh, it's one of my kind of favorite trades to do. And then we also did this in Netflix, okay? And you can see here Netflix, in terms of the rest of the market, actually holding up pretty well, but it's also starting to improve uh, not only in price okay it's not just about price but it's also about implied volatility okay and these options were on fire today uh, we had um, but I even bought a Delta 3 option which I've never done before it was kind of funny we talked about that in the room but you know the 120 calls this morning that we bought at a dollar 40 are you know already of more than a double and these are ones that we bought um, also too, but it's just one of those where we want to try to hold on to this until October 14th as price and more importantly, implied volatility continues to go. Okay, so those are the two earnings plays. In terms of a bullish play, because this market, even though it's very bearish, there are some stocks out there that are quite bullish. Um, we've been focusing on AutoZone, okay? And for AutoZone, if we take a look at this, this of course is a bigger stock. Uh, the options are kind of, uh, they're a little thin, but we did a couple of different things on this. Uh, first, we just got some in the money options. Okay, that's easy. Hey, that we just wanna buy the stock at a cheaper price. And then we kind of got some out of the money options just on the idea that if the stock could break through to new all time highs, that we'd actually get a pretty decent run in which to sell those, okay? So if you look at this, uh, this is the all-time high for AutoZone. We are within spitting distance of that. And typically when a stock, if, if and when it can push through that high, it's gonna have a pretty good run, all right? And what do, we, what do we have in our favor? Well, we've got a daily squeeze in our favor to kind of help give it that push higher, okay? And we've got a 195 minute squeeze that's already fired, okay? So it's kind of, uh, on all cylinders there. At the same time, we did have some bearish positions. Um, Alibaba, this is one where we were able to uh, take some good profits from setups uh, from Tuesday, okay? And those are uh, some of the things that we did on Tuesday. And we've just been scaling out of that trade as we go. And we just had actually one contract left today. I think the average entry price was like $3.90. And then we sold them for 550, 650, and, and right up in there. All right. So um, for downside moves, we had Alibaba, uh, we had Yahoo. Uh, that was a fun one. And I think on Yahoo, what we did is a combination. We did. It was a well. I can just bring it up and I can look. Uh, we did where we had bought some directional puts with kind of a kind of a short range target and then also sold a call credit spread. And yeah, that's what we did. So our put hit our target and then the call credit spread continuing uh, to work in our favor there, okay? So the question at this point is, well, what now, what's gonna happen now um, in the markets, right? So if we look at the S&Ps here, the big thing to keep in mind, of course, is at this point we are in a downtrend, okay? We are in a downtrend on the S&Ps. So why not just be short everything? Well. Um, short covering rallies, okay, this is a short covering rally. Short covering rallies are the best rallies on the planet, okay? At this point, we are working our way down. Um, as you guys know, no market goes straight up or straight down. And at this point, um, the S&Ps could, it doesn't mean they will, after hitting super strong voodoo line support today, they could go back up to their eight EMA, which is about 1941, or the 21 EMA, which is 1957. And if they did those, it would not um, break this current downtrend in any way, shape, or form, but it would sting all the shorts who shorted here. So what I'm looking for 
at this point is that we actually can rally up into that zone and that is where I would want to reshort. Okay, so um, that's what we got. Uh, we'll, in the premium video, I'm gonna focus on some of the other earnings plays that we're setting up and we're doing and I hope that is helpful. All right, I want to give you a heads up. Very exciting class coming up with Don Coffin. This is actually one of my uh, favorite, uh, I call it kind of a unique, um, you know, something that you may not really think about, but it's called Ratio Butterflies. And this is kind of right up my alley in terms of the way I like to um, set up positions and kind of take advantage of stock movement, okay? So this is called the Beginner's Guide to Ratio Butterflies, not your normal butterflies. This is gonna be Wednesday, September 30th from eight to 10 East Coast time. It will be recorded if you cannot attend it live, okay? Don is gonna talk about how you can make trades where you can risk a dollar to make two with a 70% chance of success, okay? I like that. How volatility skew can benefit you in almost every options trade if you know what to look for, okay? Very nice, advanced yet simple stuff to kind of up your options game. Why ratio butterfly spreads transcend markets conditions. This trade works in up, down, or sideways market. Again, very beneficial. How ratio spreads can benefit your trading arsenal and the step-by-step -step guide on how to enter and exit the ratio butterfly trade. All right, and the idea with this, and I love these classes because they're two hours, very specific, and the idea that on a one or two trades, you can make up the investment in yourself in this class to get this information, okay? So simpleroptions.com forward slash ratio. Um, just 97 bucks and you'll be queued up for next Wednesday. All right, you guys have a good night and we'll see you at the next update.